Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Icarus. In our last episode, we have reached level 10. Along with that, we have unlocked a lot of crafting benches. We have created this oxide dissolver. And this stone furnace. Also, we have unlocked this anvil bench. So today's plan is to go to another cave and mine lot of materials in there. We primarily need copper right now, also iron. So let's get started. So I have three blueprint points left, basically tech points. So I'm not going to use it right now, but we'll use it after some time when needed. So as you see, I have unlocked crafting bench, oxide dissolver, furnace, and wheel, and this iron tools. The iron bolt is not required right now because it is used in the crossbow. We need herbalism bench for sure. Wood crop, uh, maybe it is optional. We are not going to use it right now. We need to craft epoxy and crossed bones as soon as possible because they will be used while crafting steel. Wrench station will be using it to acquire a mount. And currently we will have a problem with storage and we will be unlocking this but for this we need copper so let's uh, search for some copper and let's see if we can get this or not. Decoration beds is not required right now. We need to reach level 15 as soon as possible so that we can upgrade our base to stone buildings. We need to craft this contact device where we can use it for missions. So we can get any missions using this and we can uh, complete our mission and we will get some XP and rewards. So let's check uh, if we have uh, enough material for that. We need some rope and iron ingot. I have already created some uh, iron ingot and we'll be using that. So let's craft some rope, 8 we needed. So let's talk about my talent points. So for solo points I have taken movement speed, stamina regeneration and increased base stamina. For normal talent points. I have chosen dense packing and carry on for reduced encumbrance penalty and uh, rockstar for mining guild. This is for the uh, maximum stamina, chase them down. This is for the movement speed, swift survivor. So 
so currently we will be focusing on the this one dense packing which will increase my weight capacity so that uh, we can carry more irons and materials so let's craft this contact device so we'll be placing the contact device here And the first mission now completed. Now you have access to short-range radio, you'll be able to take on simple missions. Check the board to see what's available. There's always something to do. If you want to take on more complex assignments and get more time with yours truly, you'll have to craft an infrasonic relay device. <laughs> UDA's way of keeping out fresh-foot prospectors looking for an early grave. Oh. Almost forgot. One last thing. Cinetai have come up with a fancy new way of shipping your exotic halls off world. They're calling it the Orbital Exchange System, OES. Abandoning all your planet side tech is a thing of the past, if you prefer. Chuck them in the pod, and it drops it all off at the station. Pretty cool, huh? It's free for now, while they're still testing the pods. Who knows how much cash they'll rake in from this later. Oh yes, schematic should be available if you want to build one. Good luck, prospector. Try not to die. Okay, we have uh, one easy mission and one medium mission. This is for a crazed creature, and we need to hunt down some creatures. Uh, this one I can't remember which one. So for now we will go to a cave today and we will mine some ores and later we will be doing some missions. So I have refilled my container and my oxygen is low so let's get some oxygen as well so this is oxide uh, oxide dissolver here you need to put your oxygen tank here and you need oxide here and let's get some oxide let's get this hole first Okay, I have leveled up and I got to level 11. I found some oxide here. Let's mine this sulfur node as well. So I got a damage debuff here. We need uh, to craft a bandage and heal that up. So this wound is giving you 80% health regeneration debuff. So you should avoid it and heal it as soon as possible. We got some raw meat. So this is the drying rack I have uh, crafted in my last episode. And here we can make jerky. You just need to drag and drop this uh, raw meat here. And it will be converted into jerky in some time. So we need to mine a lot of ores so that you can craft a lot of things here. So we have covered this in the G4 and in the G3. So currently we will go further or we can go to a cave which is present here. Let's go to the nearest cave. So let's kill this boar first.
There might be two, three worms here. Maybe one more. We have a copper deposit here, which is not that bad. Copper is useful, and also we have a gold deposit here. Uh, this is the exotic node. This is very useful. things up and I'll see you after this. So let's get some of these exotic first. is full uh, we can go right now we can go uh, like this around the field got uh, 26 exotic ores we'll be using those later so i forgot to put this oxide you know my oxide is a lot so let's uh, craft some bacon we need to go to that cave again and we can uh, we can bring all the ores from there let's use the talent point we'll uh, we'll take the dance packing again or also we can take uh, the more yield currently dance packing will be better stamina reason is also good because you can uh, you can mine more ores quickly but select uh, take weight capacity we need iron hammer because when home comes we need to repair our building let's check what it requires it requires 10 iron ingot and leather we have a lot of leather here and lot of iron ingot as well some copper ingot here now we can grab some 
problem is this cupboard is better solution compared to this this storage because you can place those cupboards practically let's craft some upper nails maybe uh four will be good so it will be in total 40 and we craft two cupboards we need some rope eight rope actually so we need total 16 currently we are making rope from the fiber but there is a talent where you can craft rope from the leather as well so meanwhile let's gather some fiber so these trees are fell from the wind let's gather this So I have gathered all the woods and uh, I mined some rock. Let's get those fibers. These are a wheat and wheat can be used for crafting flour. So I have gathered those uh, rock to craft some mortar and pestle so we need some silica ore so today we will sleep and tomorrow we will wake up making some flour and bone grass so the night is past and let's get some silica Currently I'll, I'll store this wheat and wheat seed. We don't need those things right now. We need to repair our pickaxe. I have uh, repaired all my tools. So let's go get some silica. We can find silica near the rock. Like here. There is a chance it will spawn. And we need to get some good amount of oxide ore as well. So they got silica ores and we need it for cement. Yeah, I have gathered enough sulfur and silica also outside so let's get back to base and i'll see you there i have reached my base let's craft this mortar and pestle we can craft two of these so let's put these things here So as you see we need a uh, tree sap which we can craft from stick and crossed bone we can craft from bones. This epoxy which we can craft from crossbone is required for making of steel. So let's craft this um, wood cupboards. Okay, now we can store a lot of things here. 
so we need to grab some cast bomb. So let's get to that cave again and we'll mine all the ores from there. Before that I need some fiber. We need to be very careful, there are sometimes bears are roaming around. Uh, that is the sound of a bear. It's terminus also aggressive in the area. Yeah, I forgot my oxygen tank and I'll get it. Okay, um, we reached level 13 right now. Let's cut these bandages just in case. Let's get to that cave and let's finish the mining in there. You see, um, health that attack are very deadly. So whenever you have try to shoot, just try to get a stealth attack. So there are a lot of oxide nodes here. We we'll definitely need these things. So let's gather all these nodes and get our from here. So titanium you can't you can't mine. We don't need gold right now. But let's mine it for experience. So I forgot that I had some talent points. Let's get this talent point first. So I'll take stamina regeneration and talent will go for dance packing. So I want to get this um, season logsman because it will it will enable you to take all the goods directly into the inventory you can this uh, you can take this bow easily as well but you move. take out your bow you can move faster but we'll see what we can take I got a cave sickness uh, here, so this is bad, uh, it will reduce your stamina, also health regeneration. This is a uh, beehive and you can take honeycomb and bees from here. all the um, ores from here so we can get back to our base and let's decide what we can do but we so i will be seeing you in the next episode thank you for watching